Hello, I've completed the 28 days of dry aging using an Umai dry bag to safely do it in my regular refrigerator. So I'm going to pull it out now and show you how to uh, butcher this up. Anyway, this is uh, the result of my 28 days of dry aging this whole New York strip steak and using the Umai dry bag which, again, this is not a vacuum seal bag. This acts as a membrane, allowing it to safely breathe so you can dry age safely within a normal refrigerator. You never want to try to dry age a piece of meat in a your regular refrigerator. Um, you're not going to get a safe result. This, you need a specially climate-controlled refrigerator for that. So, with these products, you can safely do this at home in your normal refrigerator without any big deal. So, the first week or so, I did it on the fat cap up, then I flipped it over on my rack and I had it going this way. This bark on the outside is normal and that's what you want to see on a properly dry-aged steak. It's called um, the pellicle. You'll want to trim that off uh, before serving. So anyway, let me uh, cut this bag open and then show you the meat out of the bag. Alright, now let, here's another look at it. Um, Remove from the bag. So this is how you want it to look. And uh, some people will remove the pellicle and then chop it into steaks, but the best, simplest way to do this is to first chop it into steaks and then remove the bark. That way you'll have less loss of good meat. So that's definitely the way to go. And I recommend cutting your steaks at least one inch thick to one, one to one and a half inches thick. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing roughly an inch and a half and the thickness of my blade here, my Victorinox slicer, is roughly an inch and a half. So I'm going to be measuring um, based on that. I'm just going to be putting it on the side, cutting, side, cutting, and so forth. So I'm going to uh, start with the first one and then I will cut the film after I've done the first one. So let me start the first one right about here. Now it's going to be pretty tough because of that bark and it's and from the dry aging. <clears throat> so I cut the end piece off here and I'm going to proceed with one more cut that I will show on camera and then the rest I will do off camera. Once these are all cut up, then I will trim the, the shells, the bark, and the excess fat. And I will be storing the, um, the fat to use in a grind, in my own ground beef grind and whatnot. So that's good to save. But you want to first trim the bark off, and then you could do the extra trimming to, and save that. You could also use the bark in a ground beef grind as well. Uh, so anyway, let me continue on and cut the rest of the uh, meat. So here, we, here it is all cut up. This is a result of a slightly over 14 pound whole top loin or New York strip. This piece was one I cut off before I started the dry aging and 
vacuum seal then froze so that way I can just do a taste test in comparison between that and <clears throat> the dry age. So I just cut it off in a stick so I haven't yet trimmed the pellicles or the very end pieces yet and I'll get to that next and we'll cut back in when that's all done. Alright, so these three steaks I've already trimmed up to my liking and notice all the intramuscular fat that's because these are USDA prime uh, cuts of meat so they're going to be extra flavorful and juicy and I'm going to show you how I trim up the pellicles off of one of these on camera so you can see me do that just want to take off any of the hard bark so and let's have at it So first I'm going to be taking the bark off and if there's this one has quite a bit of extra fat on it so I'll be sorting that part out into a separate pile that I'll be saving and incorporating into my own ground beef grinds. So I could incorporate it into like fresh chuck that I'll grind up and then add the dry aged fat and it will add a ton of flavor and moisture to the, um, to the meat to your own custom grind. So just trying to just remove what I need without going <clears throat> like too far extra so I don't waste too much more than I need. Also you naturally lose um, a bit of weight from the dry aging process itself. For example when I did an 18 pound whole ribeye once the dry aging process was done, the weight of the meat was right around four, uh, 14 pounds, give or take. So you do lose some, uh, some weight from this. All right. Going that to my toss pile. Want to get rid of any tough parts or black or just flat up black spots. So okay, that's good. And this part here I'll be cutting off. And, and saving that for ground beef grind. So that's some good stuff. We'll be vacuum sealing and saving. So that's it. I think that's how I'm going to leave this one. There we go. So there's another steak. The pellicle trimmed. It's about two fingers wide. Or roughly an inch and a half. And I'm going to continue on and finish the rest of the cuts and then cut back when it's all done. So uh, quite a bit of time and hard work later, I've got all the steaks trimmed up to my liking and I have a big pile of pellicle and scrap that's going to be discarded, at least a couple pounds worth. And here are some of the pieces that I'll be saving 
to incorporate into a, a burger grind over here. So there are ways to use um, you know the pellicles and some of the things you can process them into other stuff. Uh, this of course you can use to make beef tallow, use it to lubricate your grill or whatnot, or incorporate it into a burger grind. You can incorporate some of the pellicles into a burger grind as long as it's just like a regular non-dry aged meat and you incorporate very little because it does have a strong flavor, you know, some of the darkest parts. Some of the softer bits um, you could do various things with. Um, anyway. That's about it. I'm going to vacuum seal these babies up. I will be freezing most of them and just putting a couple in the fridge that I'll be eating over the week. I may have, I might do a video um, doing the taste test comparison between the dry aged and the non dry aged uh, cut. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me.